Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's your girl Brit Reacts and today we are reacting to Bur Bo Burnham performs Art is Dead in the Green Room. Let's see what he has to say. But here's where it gets difficult to explain or understand is that Bo actually when he performs is, uh, there's a lot of ironic detachment there. There's a lot of, you know, you're not, you're not really revealing anything yourself. So, you I, know. I never talk about what I really okay. think about on stage directly because I just don't think, I don't value what I think at this point. <laughs> about those issues. Well, just really, like, I don't, I don't think anyone wants to get up in here, a 20-year-old, like, tell them what they think you, about how the world works. Would you do me a favor? So I just kind of make jokes. Would you do me a favor? Would you do Art is Dead? Yeah. Because I think that song says everything that I think I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that one. Yeah, yeah, sure. I love that he had the insight. Okay, so clearly he's, like, 20 years old here, or somewhere around there, and he had the insight to say, like, I'm not really telling y'all what goes on in my head because I know I'm 20. What what do I really have to contribute here? I haven't experienced enough life to have a real <laughs> run in this race, which is really true. I mean, when you think about lifespan, right, and someone in their 80s versus someone in their 20s, it's like, what does someone in their 20s have to offer? Not that they have nothing to offer. I'm just saying I think it's it's thoughtful of him like it you know what i mean nowadays i feel like i don't know this feels just from the quality of the camera to have been at least a decade ago nowadays i think 20 year olds think they know everything and they have it all figured out because of the internet and at 34 i don't i know diddly squat y'all y'all love to tell me that in the comments <laughs> um but i just think that that's like an introspective you know, very like aware, self-aware thing for him to say at 20 years old. Oh, he's a, he's a prop comic. <laughs> <laughs> he's a prop comic. This kid is... In all seriousness, just a question. Is he like a musical prodigy? I just, the way he plays the piano and it just runs out of him is, he's so good. I just wonder, I don't know. All right, let's see what he's gonna, I, Art is Dead. That's what he's singing. Art is dead, Art is dead, Art is dead, Art is dead. Entertainers like to seem complicated, but we're not complicated. I can explain it pretty easily. Have you ever been to a birthday party for children? One of the children won't stop screaming, cause he's just a little attention attractor. When he grows up to be a comic or actor, he'll be rewarded for never maturing, for never understanding or learning. Every day can't be about him. There's other people, you selfish ass. <laughs> Is that how comics are? I guess when you think about it, it's like, hey, over here, look at me, look at me. Like, in a way, that is pretty true. I think that's pretty true about a lot of professions. Definitely in the performative space, for sure. It's me psychotic, it must be demented To think that I'm worthy of all this attention Of all of this money you worked really hard for I slept in late while you worked at the drugstore My drugs attend- That's also true. I do think you have to be a special, like, my husband always says, like, anyone who can play football on a professional level, they have to be a little out of their minds because that sport is so physical and barbaric and really hard to like power through and I think the same for anyone who is willing to get on stage and perform in any way shape or form you have to be a little crazy like you have to be willing to receive rejection and you know especially as a comedian people literally will boo you off the stage so yeah I agree with that also. Worked really hard for. I slept in late while you worked at the drugstore. My drug's attention. I am an addict, but I get. My drug is attention. I am an addict. Hold on. You worked at the drugstore. My drug's attention. I am an addict, but I get paid to indulge in my habit. It's all an illusion. But I get paid to indulge in my habit. That's deep. And probably really true. All these men kind of got like a little, there. it changed a little bit because I feel like you have to love attention. It probably is super addicting, but then there is some part of it that's like, where, where does it end? 
Hmm. Addicts, but I get paid to indulge in my habit. It's all an illusion. I'm wearing makeup. I'm wearing makeup. 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 <laughs> Art is dead. So people think you're funny. How do we get those people's money? Said an art is dead. We're rolling in dough while Carlin rolls in his grave. Art is dead. How do we? They think you're funny. How do we get people's money? So he's saying like it's no longer about the art, the craft, the skill. It's about how much money you can make at any cost. Is what I'm hearing. Art is dead. We're rolling in dough while Carlin rolls in his grave. The show has got a budget. The show has got a budget. All the poor people, way more deserving of the money, won't budget because we wanted our name and lights. When we could have fed a family of four for 40 fucking four nights. 40 fucking four nights. I'm an artist, please God forgive me. I am an artist, please don't revere me. I am an artist, please don't respect me. I feel like this song has way more truth than it does the like normal irony and comedy that Bo goes for. This also, the energy feels weird. Like he feels, I don't know, maybe a little anxious. I don't know. Am I feeling anxiety coming from him? And the crowd and everyone watching seems to be a twinge confused. The energy is different. The energy is very different than what I feel like I usually see in his shows. Um, and again, he said he's 20, so I don't know how early on this is in his career. I don't, I don't know. I don't also know the context of the show and what came before and after. But just telling you what I feel looking at this, it feels a little uh, unbalanced in the way that it usually does. Do y'all feel that? Is it just me? Am I the villain? I am an artist. Please don't revere me. I am an artist. Please don't respect me. I am an artist. Feel free to correct me. Self-centered artist. Self-obsessed artist. I am an artist. I am an artist. But I'm just a kid. I'm just a kid. I'm just a kid. Maybe I'll grow out of it. He definitely seems... Thank you, man. I think that's kind of interesting from a, a, a comic. His yeah, age. I, I thought it was cute. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, he is sitting in a like round table situation with like legendary people in his field, and he is super young, and he kind of just like stuck it to him a little bit. I don't know. I'm kind of excited to see what y'all have to say as feedback on this one. Uh, be kind, and go have the day you deserve.